Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the coldest night of the year, 2021. I'm so excited that you are here joining us in this walk today, especially since we can't all do it together. Thank you for continuing to, to do this walk with us every year. Because you know, as you can see, I'm here at the Evergreen Center for Street Youth. The work continues and the meal is being prepared in the background. And even as I record this, there are youth lined up outside to come in and get a hot meal. But I think even more importantly, they're coming in so that they connect with our staff and so that our staff can be there for them and help support them during these COVID times um, with the challenges that they are facing. So once again, thank you. It means so much and the work continues and everything that is raised today will go towards the work here at YSM's Evergreen Center. I also wanna say when you go out on the walk today because of the pandemic, please, if you're walking with somebody who's not a member of your household, please remember to wear your mask and, uh, and keep a distance and stay safe and just enjoy the day. I'm gonna turn it over now to Melissa, who has worked with our Evergreen Center and our staff here, just to tell you a little bit about her experiences so that you can see just how transformative your investment today is in the lives of youth. Thank you again and enjoy your walk. So YSM to me signifies a new beginning. Basically, when you're down and out, YSM always has somebody to be your cheerleader, as you look at it. But overall, to me, YSM signifies family. YSM impacted my life big time. When I started working with YSM, I was literally at rock bottom. I lost my job. I lost my home. I even lost custody of my daughter. They showed me at that time where I did not think anything in my life was worth living for, that I did have purpose. Not only as a mother or a daughter, but as a strong, empowered woman that has many talents. The first time I came to YSM, I'm not gonna lie, I was very nervous, I was worried, and I was scared because it had been a while since I did any form of counseling or asked for help. The main thing was asking for help. When I walked in, all my fears were gone. It's like my body knew I was safe. My mind, of course, was sitting there like, OMG, what's gonna happen? But all you could feel, it was like almost like a blanket of safety engulfing your entire body. When memories come to mind, I have way too many, like enough to keep me laughing and smiling for days. But I have to definitely talk about the coldest night walk, the family-oriented events, and the amazing people that you get to meet that come from all different growth, growth areas in life. But now, if you don't mind, let's just go back to the walk for a second. Now, participating in the coldest, the coldest night of the year walk for me, you got to meet amazing people. You got to participate for an amazing cause. And the best part, my favorite part, you get your steps in. For those that are walking and or donating, I wanna let you guys know that each step you take is helping a person make a difference. It's helping to make a difference, not just by helping a person to help a person, but at the same time, it also gives you a sense of doing good. It gives you hope. It shows that we're all human beings. We're all here as one. We're all here to help as again, like I'm going to repeat myself, a family. But if you guys are out there, you know, just, Keep stepping. Don't stop stepping. Don't stop stepping. But from the bottom of my heart and everyone at YSMs, we would love to thank you for participating in 2021's coldest night of the year walk. And God bless each and every one of your families. 